Hello and welcome everybody. Today we are talking about what I call premium compression molded clay chips. And there are some things to discuss, some frequently asked questions, some of which come privately, so just people emailing me. So let's dive into that discussion after we play a hand. If you're at home and you'd like to play, deal yourself two cards. Obviously we're not playing for anything, just a really basic Texas Hold'em hand here. Let's uh, cut this deck real quick and deal Jane Doe in and myself. Let me have a quick look at my hand. And I'm just gonna burn through, there's no betting cycles, so there's no point in stuff, you know, like on TV, the flop, and then sit and stare at it for a while. The turn, river to 10. And we were close to something pretty amazing, but I kind of missed. She's gonna, I always, yep, eight, why? How come I always lose? I don't know what is wrong with YouTube. It's the YouTube jinx just for me, not working out. I totally dropped a card. Let me retrieve it and I will be right back here. Let's pull this up, look at that, all right. So as we move into discussions about premium compression molded clay chips here, let's just pull in a bunch of obsolete casino chips. Let's pull in some, what do we have? A whole bunch of classic poker chips. We have some more classic poker chips here. All right, so when I say clay, that doesn't mean anything anymore in today's world, right? So it seems like every single possible here, let's find a better example, every single possible chip can be sold as a clay chip. Because plastic, one of the additives that's very common in plastics, like even in water bottles, I've read engineering research about water bottles. That's right, that clear, cheap plastic, they put clay in there to help with the hydrophobic properties of the plastic. Okay, so any chip on the planet, it seems like, can be sold as a clay chip. That's just what they call them because people caught on to the idea that Paulson makes these premium compression molded clay chips and so they latched onto that idea and it's a clay chip, everything. China clays are sold as a clay because they're called China clays. Obviously they feel, you know, they have a nice texture. They don't feel as plasticky as some other chips do, but it still feels like they use plastic, you know. And then I think the only ones that aren't sold as clay chips from one vendor or another or an eBay vendor are ceramics. Ceramics are just pretty much called ceramics. Not, I haven't seen anybody in recent memory that has tried to pawn these off as clay chips, okay? So it seems like everything else on the planet is sold as a clay chip except for the ceramics. So let's dive into, okay, so we're not talking about ABS metal slug insert chips or what people call real clay chips or any of that. I like to distinguish the two as premium, meaning you're paying more than a dollar a chip. Premium, people argue that some of these obsolete used casino chips you can get at certain sales at certain times for less than a dollar. Uh, okay, I'll give you that, but brand new, the casinos are generally, are the casinos paying more? When I ordered mine, do I have one? No, I think that they're all gone. Oh no, I do have one. When I ordered my custom promotional chips from Paulson, from the, the blue chip promotional line that was made in the Paulson factory in Mexico, the same place where these chips were made, the Paulson chips were made, it was more than a dollar a chip. So let's just go with that, okay? So that was the last time that I was able to get a hold of a new chip from that factory. So, you know, we're talking about premium chips, obviously not available to consumers. Classic poker chips are still available to consumers and they're more than a dollar a chip. As uh, generally speaking, if you have anything more than like a blank chip, hot stamp here, Atlantic Club, one of my favorite classic poker chip sets. So premium compression molded clay chips, all right? Let's identify them like that. So you're paying a lot for it. You're paying a premium for these. There are people who lay criticism to these chips. So buckle up, we're gonna dive into it. The first is that 
Paulson's wear out really quick. For anybody who's been to any sort of casino and you look at, I have some Cincinnati, here you go. Look at any of these like casino chips that are made by Paulson. They're expensive, all right? People love talking about these, about how wonderful they are, how they love the feel, but they wear out super quick. You can see all the wear and tear and grime, the corners ding up super fast. And people point out, you know, it's like with shoes, you know, why would you buy those expensive shoes? They wear out so quickly. Why would you buy leather sole shoes? Like Allen Edmonds, they wear out so quickly. My, you know, $30, whatever, cheap shoes with these, you know, impossibly hard soles that still have good traction never wear out, okay? So don't buy leather. And the same argument is made about Paulson's. They wear out super quick. These corners, they wear down super quick. Same with classic poker chips. These corners wear down. They get little, you know, nicks in them. Little flea, you know, all sorts of little things where people like, I don't know if they're called flea bites, but where like people drop them or ding them or and you can see here they rack check them where they, here, I know I've seen, I just barely saw, oh yeah, here, like they rack check them. You can see this was at the end of a, uh, you know, a rack and they get, it gets rack checked. Oh no, look how quickly they wear. And people argue that they're cheap chips. What do I have? They're cheap as chips. Chip, they're, ch <laughs> sounds, I make that, that doesn't sound good. Cheap as chips get you know, are more durable because they're this really resilient plastic, right? And they're not, and they don't wear out. They already have rounded corners and they'll last your lifetime without wearing or, or, or minimal wear. And I think that's true. I think a lot of cheaper chips, like this one in particular, are very durable. Durability isn't the complaint about these chips, it's the feel. And so like with, for example, I have handmade furniture, handmade wooden furniture. There, You can see plain marks in it. It's not even, it's handmade. There are knots in it. There are little imperfections in the wood. It's not a laminated piece of printed paper that's just glued to some medium density fiberboard. Like flat pack furniture. It's a premium piece of furniture that's handmade. And then I compare that to these, you know, is that handmade furniture perfect? No, it's not. There are signs that it's handmade. Did I pay premium for it? Yes, I did. You pay a premium for handmade things. And so with these, it's kind of the same thing. You know, you compare here. So this is my ceramic here. That's not really in the discussion. Let's put in my one of my few remaining blue chip line Paulson factory made promotional chips. Let's compare that against the bicycle chips here. You know, so look at these edge spots. Perfect, 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 perfect. Look at the bicycle. Perfect. Look at this straight line right across the top. This isn't compression molded, right? This isn't at the same level as far as premium quality as some of these other ones. But look at Horseshoe. I want to, there's one in particular that I saw. If you don't mind, I'm just going to flip through some of these. You can have a look. When I was looking through these Horseshoe chips, I found one that was, now I need to check the other side. That was, you could tell it was compression molded because the uh, inlay was warped. And that's a complaint about every premium chip manufacturer, whether it be classic poker chips or Paulson. Here it is, it's this one right here. Okay, so if you look right here, you'll notice the horseshoe kind of has this wave to it, kind of like a flag, which isn't how it's supposed to be. And then so people always have leveled criticisms, you know, of Paulson and not only durability and classic poker chips of quality. Well, the inlays are poor quality. Look, even the cheap bicycle chips can get a straight line across their branding. And yet here's this wave, you know, across this premium compression molded chip, why would you pay more for that? Huh? Yeah, you see the complaints? And then same with like the edge spots. Look, the edge spots aren't even rectangular. Bicycle can make a perfect, you know, edge spot. Why can't the premium chip makers do it? Same with classic poker chips. And I see that all the time. And it's not just 
like in comments, it's also like personal messages. People write me messages and they're like, I don't get it, you know? And my response, frankly, is I'm generally on board with their opinions because it's their opinions. My opinion doesn't matter in their case. Somebody writes to me, well, I want this piece of flat, flat pack furniture because I can afford it and I like it and I like the way it looks more over, you know, I like it more than handmade furniture, which bothers me all these flaws and the knots and everything else. Okay, buy the flat pack furniture. I'm not going to stop you if that's what you like. Same thing when people write me about, well, I like whatever, pick a brand, poker chips more than the premium chips. They just look more consistent and they last longer and they're going to last me my lifetime and good, get them. I usually write back, good, that's fine. It's your opinion. If you like them, get them. So what are you getting with these premium compression molded chips, right? So there's feel. People talk about the weight, but to me that's kind of a non-issue because usually you can find a plastic, an ABS metal slug insert, or in the case of like these bicycles, there's no metal slug insert. You can find another chip that will generally weigh very similar. Even ceramics can weigh very similar, can weigh to certain casino chips. They can weigh a similar weight to a casino Paulson. At which point, you know, it's like, and people don't realize that like casino chips can be very light. When I was weighing these in a recent video, like it even shocked me there because they're moving away from lead weights. And so even Paulson's and the day glow colors for classic poker chips are very light. Let's see what we can show you here on. So it was one of these, I think it was one of these 25s where I weighed it and it was like 7.8. Hang on a second. 7.9 here. Let's make sure that's zero. One, give good information here. Look how light that is, 7.7. .7. Okay, and then you move into these real clay chips, you know, that are marketed as such. Where was that Las Vegas casino? Las Vegas casino chips. They sell these as casino weight, okay? So this was actually used in a casino as a poker chip, right? And you look at this one and there's a huge, it's almost twice as heavy as a real casino chip. Well, so you, and then another complaint. Well, casino chips are, feel cheap nowadays. All right. I see, you see how there's, you know, interesting arguments. So here's an Atlantic Club, okay? Is it going to weigh 14 grams? No, it's not. It's going to weigh under nine grams. And then, but they're all different, okay? So here's a horseshoe, HSI, horseshoe, Southern Indiana. Nine grams, that's kind of what we expect. Nine to nine and a half grams is kind of what we expect what I expect from a lot of casino chips. And then you compare that to a ceramic chip, not even sold as a clay chip. Nine point, see? It's really interesting, the discussions. And so you have to ask yourself, if you don't like the designs, why are people paying more for these premium, as they're called, premium chips? And do I have an answer? Yes, I do. It's taste. It's personal preference. I like these chips. I like the character. Look at this, you know, inlay. This is different than every other inlay. You look at the texture here. This one's skinnier, this one's fatter, this one's shorter, this one's longer, you know, this one's more angular. Every one of these is different and it has a unique character and it has this sense that it was handmade. Same with handmade furniture. It's endearing to me and I really like them. Does that preclude me from going out and ordering a custom set of ceramic chips? No, it doesn't. <laughs> there are some times where I like having ceramic chips that are just pristine and you know near perfect when it comes to alignment and straight lines and things. You're not going to get this funky compression molded clay variation. Like, and look at how it extends out right here. It's almost like egg shaped this inlay because it's been compression molded. I love that. Again, not for everybody. So ultimately when it comes down to like choosing a chip, you need to be aware of all these things when you're ordering. If it bothers you, like if you look closely here, I'm not sure if this is going to show up on camera, but if you look closely on Paulson's, there's this, this uh, texture to it, right? It's a little mesh style, like linen texture to it. And it's slightly more pronounced on classic poker chips where there are these 
almost like hash marks on there, right? Almost like a, uh, I don't want to say, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's not like a hash pattern, but it's a texture that you can actually see in certain light and feel. And both of them have it. And again, both of them wear out super quick because of the materials that are used to make them. It's not everybody's cup of tea. Not everybody likes that. But I love that they, they both have them. And I think it's very interesting. And again, it, it's endearing to me personally. So if you want Metal Slug ABS chips, you can use this video as leverage against all your buddies who have real casino chips or classic poker chips and say, well, I got something more durable. So there. <laughs> Price doesn't necessarily associate itself with durability or weight in the poker chip world. Anyway, those are some common questions I had. I just wanted to share and show you some different, and show you that, you know, premium, when you pay for premium things, like with handmade wood furniture, you're not paying for perfection. You're paying for that human touch, that human connection of imperfection, as humans are imperfect, imperfect you know. So anyway, that's, those are some of my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm sure people will agree or disagree or not care. Who cares? Just, I, you know, it's all about looks. And again, that's fine too. If you just like the look of something, go with what you like. You can, you don't care about the feel, the texture, the wear and tear, whatever. Looks number one in your list, go with that. So that's why it's hard for me. Like when people, again, you know, you're welcome to send me messages, but if you send me a message and I get this at least once a week where people say, hey, will you help me choose a set? If they give me like three choices and say, well, this one's my favorite, usually I write back and be like, yeah, your favorite's a reasonable set and it will probably serve you well. And that's all I can write back because I, I don't know the person. I don't have time. And sometimes I'll write back. Like if somebody writes this long, like convoluted, well, I want this and this and this and this, but I like this and this and this and this and this and what should I get? Or what should I get for a gift for somebody who I don't know? I, I usually write back and just be like, I can't help you. I don't have time to help all these people, you know, several, several times a day sometimes just like with these long stories about what should I choose for poker chips. If you write me and say, you know, have it narrowed down to one or two and say, well, which one do you like more? I can tell you which one I like more and I can tell you if the one that you like the most is gonna serve you well as poker chips. I can't think of anything on the table that I have. If somebody wrote me and said, hey, I have 20 bucks and I wanna buy some bicycle poker chips, I would say that's a reasonable chip for the price, you know? I, I can't think of anything that is unusable on the table as a poker chip. Sometimes people just need, like, I'm in college. I need some, I just need something. You know, will the people in college understand this is a five? Yes. If not, get a Sharpie and write five on them. They're cheap. They're cheap as chips, I said. This is a funny saying. Referring to, like, what, British French fries, chips. So anyway, if I write, if you write me... <laughs> Because I get it all the time. I'm like, oh, and the other thing is like, I'm so I'm not, I don't really help people go into these long, like decision making things. If it's quick, yes, I'll help you. But if it's like too like long and convoluted, sometimes I'll just be like, you know what? I, you really need to decide on your own. The other thing that I don't help with are designs. Like uh, it seems like once a month I get somebody who has a Kickstarter and I'm all, now to be clear, I support Kickstarter, new poker chip companies. I like the idea of having a larger variety of poker chips in the world. So if you're designing chips, I support you. Go get, design your chips once they're available to the public as a stock poker chip. You know, maybe I'll review them, but I'm not gonna help you design poker chips. Once a month I get somebody, well, help me design my poker chips for Kickstarter or help me design my poker chips for this website or whatever. I love it that you're designing poker chips. So don't take it the wrong way when I say, no, I'm not gonna help you design them, okay? It's just not my, not my thing and there's lots of reasons why I'm not gonna help people design poker chips. You can see I test things. I put them out in the sun, I bleach them, I do all sorts of things to see how durable poker chips are. Speaking of a chip that's sold often as a real clay chip, these dice chips. And lots of them you know, have this really nice plastic. That's right, I said nice plastic. That's very durable on them. It's just, I don't like the sound, the feel, the texture. Oh, sound is another thing that I should have talked about. There's a sound difference, but some chips that are not premium compression molded clay chips do have a really good sound to them. Outlaws, I feel like, I, Outlaws, lots of, so 
Owl Walls, I think, have they're pretty soft ABS plastic, but they're very durable, and I think they have a reasonable sound for what they are. So I like Owl Laws as far as like an ABS chip. So, so you see, you can choose any, you're not, I'm personally not hemmed into one. The other thing that I want to mention before I end here, one quality that compression molded clay chips, premium compression molded clay chips have over other style chips is they retain their value very well, particularly Paulson obsolete casino chips. They can retain their value very well to a point of we need to have a discussion in a future video about their value as an investable collectible. Not saying they're going to go up in value, just saying that you can enjoy the hobby of collecting without losing money with maybe the potential to have some increase there. So it is interesting that that's another aspect of these chips. Classic poker chips kind of, but not to the extent that from my personal experience, this is just my opinion, as Paulson obsolete casino chips or even like live casino chips. I don't have any kicking around right here, but for, so for example, if you went to the Bellagio today and bought some chips, at the moment, the Bellagio guarantees the value of those chips, so they're gonna re that's kind of like the floor value of them. And in the future when they're obsolete, they can often increase in value and do increase in value historically. Again, my opinions. So, you know, there there's lots to consider that's on the table. <laughs> oh dear. Looking forward to reading your comments again. And thanks to my patrons who make this possible. Uh, I have a couple of new patrons. If you're listening, go to Patreon and read personal messages. If you would like your name in the credits, let me know. You can respond to my message there. And if not, just don't worry about it. You don't have to respond if you don't want to because I respect people's privacy. But again, thank you to all my patrons, whether they're listed here or not. Really appreciate the support. And everybody who goes to my Amazon shop to make purchases because I'm an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. My Amazon shops are listed in the comments below. It's one shop, but I have different segments like poker chips and like YouTube equipment and some some other little segments there that you can shop as well, golf being one of them. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.